In this module, we're going to be covering two new techniques. One is called cluster analysis, and the other is called factor analysis. Now, these are fundamentally different from what we've done before. Previously, we've basically done variants on regression. T-tests, ANOVA, cross-tabs, those are all variants on a regression analysis. Now, these two techniques are totally different. And what you'll see is that when you combine these two techniques, you can actually derive incredibly powerful business decisions from them. So for this video, let's start talking about cluster analysis. Cluster analysis is often used in determining the segments in a segmentation strategy. This is the S in the STP, segmentation, targeting, and positioning, that hopefully you've heard of previously. The big question is that segmentation is an essential part of the marketing plan, but how do we actually find these different segments? So there's a lot of different ways to construct segments. For instance, we could use demographics. So sometimes this is useful, but demographics are a poor predictor of behavior and attitude. So we might form segments by things like gender, but it turns out that's not the best way to necessarily predict people's behaviors, which is really what we want to do. We want to predict people's purchase behaviors. Another way to segment the market might be something like attitudes. So we can segment customers based on attitudinal information like, are you an optimist or a pessimist? Are you a leader or are you a follower? And that turns out to be pretty useful if we find the right set of attributes in order to predict behavior and purchase intention. Finally, what we might want to do is segment based on behavior. So segments can be formed by things like usage behavior. Are you a heavy user? Or are you a light user? Things like that are actually incredibly predictive of whether you're going to be purchasing a product or not. And so we're going to see how we can use some of these different inputs to actually create segments. Now the nice thing about the tool that we're going to use today, which is cluster analysis, is that we don't have to guess at the segments. Instead, we're going to feed it some data and it's going to spit back out at us the different segmentations or the different clusters. Now before we get to that, I'd like you to watch a short video by this gentleman, Malcolm Gladwell. You've likely heard of him. He's a famous author. He writes for The New Yorker on a regular basis. He's written some best-selling books like Blink, Tipping Point, Outliers, and David and Goliath. I particularly like these books. Uh, this is a talk from back in 2004, but I actually think it's a phenomenal talk. And the talk isn't about any one of his books, but instead it's about this gentleman, Dr. Howard Moskowitz. And he's basically a research consultant. This gentleman changed the way in which marketing research is conducted. And I'm going to let Malcolm Gladwell do the rest of the talking because, quite frankly, he's a much better speaker than I am.